5.30 a.m. and the chaos began. The protesters were waiting, they were prepared. They knew today was the day they would be evicted from the common. Why are they doing this? Why? For more than an hour, the two sides clashed. They grabbed hold of me, smashed my glasses and stamped on me and then threw me down. I was peacefully protesting and a policeman turned around and punched me in the mouth. My husband's family have been here since 1880 in Wanstead and we felt we had to come to support the people that are trying to save our tree. This is the tree at the centre of it all, in the path of the M11 link road, now a symbol of the campaign against it. Armed with a High Court order, men from the Sheriff's Office turned up and asked the protesters to come down. They refused. As the sun came up, the standoff began. 150 police had the tree surrounded. How do you intend to get the people out of the tree and get that tree removed? Uh, it will be done with the minimum uh, of uh, persuasion uh, on the part of my officers and the police. Uh, the ideal solution would, of course, be, would be if they came down voluntarily from the tree. But they didn't, and at 11 o'clock, the cranes arrived. Hey, love, mind yourself, stand up, come on, stand up. Okay. Protesters took to the floor to try and halt its progress. One by one, they were pulled away. In the melee, one woman was hurt. From the opposite direction, a JCB digger approached, flanked by security guards employed by the road builders. Four guards were hurt in the crush. We are not going to give up. We will win. This place will probably become one of the most desirable places to live at the end of the day because I'll be able to get a Blackhall Tunnel in about five minutes, M11, M25 and Kent in five minutes. But you people are all forgetting the fact that this whole thing's going to be tunnelled. By one o'clock, it was the beginning of the end of the tree occupation. One protester handcuffed himself to the crane. Basically, I, I jumped onto it and I was holding on with two arms and the guy punched me in the face twice. One by one, his colleagues left in the branches were plucked out. Go on, stay! Yes! By two o'clock, the digger moved in to demolish the tree. <laughs> oh, you unclean crap! <laughs> I mean, I don't know whether I'm the best, best person to talk to. I'm not political, I'm just a wanted resident. I think the, uh, the road that's going through will make an improvement to the traffic that is here at the moment. OK, we lost a few trees. I mean, I'm for the road. I don't know how many other people are, because I think when it's finished, once it'll be back to um, like a village again. More scuffles erupted when moves were made to evict protesters from trees at the other end of the green. Throughout the day, the police were accused of heavy-handedness, an allegation they denied. The injuries, the most significant injuries, are to the police officers, one who was uh, hit by a firework. The security guards, two of them were pushed underneath the, one of the vehicles when they were trying to bring it in. The more significant injuries have been to the people who have been here trying to assist the sheriff to do his job. <laughs> In the end, the sheriff succeeded as one by one the trees came down.